Hello, and welcome back to Warm Up for Iceborne. I'll be your host and guide, Shepard, and today we'll be taking on the Rathalos. To prove ourselves, we must challenge the King of the Sky himself, the Rathalos. Come prepared, and we'll have him taken down in no time at all. Getting up to the Rathalos quickly can be used with the help of wing drakes. Splash them with a puddle pod and they'll give us a quick ride upwards. The area they bring us to actually has an abundance of thunderbugs and ivy, so keep that in mind if you're short on those materials. After the encounter with the Rathalos, we find ourselves on the top of the ancient tree. We can actually make the quest a bit easier for ourselves if we do the actual assigned quest. Walking over this way will unlock the ancient forest camp which we can then create through a delivery in Astera. Unlocking the camp requires two large monster bones and an Anjanov pelt, which you should still have kicking around at this point. Make sure to bring small barrel bombs for this quest. If you move quickly enough, you should have enough time to eat and grab the easy flash bombs all while Rathalos is waking up from his nap. Drop two small barrel bombs in the dam and run straight past him down the waterfall. Don't worry. He won't be far behind. Rathalos' primary weak spot is his head, but if you're using a weapon like the Charge Blade or Gun Lance, it may be easier to line up the attacks by attacking his wings. He'll be down on the ground for quite a long time, so you should be able to get multiple combos off. After the first quest, Rathalos' girlfriend Rathian loves to show up. Try to bring some dung bombs to scare her away, otherwise you're going to have to be doing a two-on-one fight. On the ground, Rathalos has a number of options. First, he's got kind of a standard charging attack. You should be used to this one by now, but don't let it catch you off guard. Second, he has an attack where he jumps up in the air and slams down. This one can be pretty dangerous. If you're too close to him, not only will you take damage, but you may find yourself poisoned afterwards. He also has a fireball. This one isn't that dangerous unless you're directly in front of him, as he actually telegraphs the move pretty closely. Make sure to counterattack the head here if you can. While his head takes the most damage, some weapons have a hard time hitting it consistently. Not only that, but he loves to flinch interrupting a lot of the best hits in our combos. For that reason, it may be worth attacking his legs. The will fall over on his side for a while, giving us plenty of time to get off full combos. Breaking the wing not only increases the odds of getting a Rathalos webbing, but it will also sometimes prevent Rathalos from taking off in the air. If he does take off in the air, be careful. He's fully capable of using his fireballs and poison tail spikes while he's up there. Superman dive away and use flash bombs to take him down. That's it! You've done it! You've defeated the Rathalos! Let's head back to Astera to see what we can make. For our weapons, there are a number of Anjanoth weapons that required Rathalos Mare to upgrade. The Anjanoth bow is probably the most important, but the Anjanoth hammer, dual blades, and even the sword and shield could be upgraded to a potent level as well. I'll stick with bone for those ones, but they are fun options to have. Wow, we really lucked out with the armor this time. The Rathalos Helm gives us another point of attack up. For more offensive geared sets, this allows us to continue dealing even more damage. Even better, the Rathalos Chest gives us a point of weakness exploit. This skill increases the odds that we will land a critical hit while attacking a monster's weak spot. This skill is incredibly valued in the endgame, we can get a head start on building it out right now. Finally, the Rathalos Tacit will pair nicely with our Fire Bow, or any other fire weapon for that matter. Also, while sorting through, I noticed we can actually make the Artillery Charm. If you're using the Gun Lance or Charge Blade, definitely make sure you've picked this one up by now. Well, that's it for Rathalos. Make sure to subscribe, as we'll be releasing a video on every monster in the game. Continuing on with Diablos next. Till next time, this is Shepard saying good luck and have a good hunt.